inside of the door right hand side is where we started on it too much light comes in here too much heat and it's not appropriate for weather this door it's not too good so we're just putting some framing here some pine and we're going to make a little box window for it and then dress the rest of it in western red cedar outside just had to go and put a piece of pine on here to level the side off level the side off here and then we're going to be putting another box window in here or a narrow window in here and you can see from the inside oh, the uh, pine brackets already in place on there so the framework around the door part of the frame is ready and I've left the left hand one off you did that last to make it easy for the last panel in and the western red cedar now has been nail gun in the just there very small concealed in this V series VJ series and ready to do that next internal on the back of the door it's almost finished except this is the box set painted the behind here just to stop any actual light coming through shouldn't be a problem and it's all there in the midsection there to support it down here it's all braced in position ready for the other pieces of timber to go left side and right side so the external part of the door now we've got a trim alloy aluminium just trim around and so that these are temporary side pieces here ready because I've started putting the each panel on and nail gunning that in but these will sit just flush against there when it comes down here but I'm leaving that to last because I've got to put a lock on and mold out the lock around here it's just finishing flush up against the door top and the right side and the same at the bottom now right hand side inside is now complete had to put these pieces on and plane them down and make them fit a bit glary make them fit in here give them a squeeze in worked out okay got a little narrow nice window in there finish this front door the front door has got the trim on there no trim on this side because they're waiting to fit the other handle on that one and then of course on the inside around the hinges it had to be cut out left like that last minute job and then the hinges will be replaced anyway so we've got inside door we finished the, that side as i said before we put two pieces in there because i made a mistake so I put an extra one in this here we've measured up we've got our window in here boxed and we just cut one piece to fit cleaned it down so it's going to fit in the left side and the right side now the right side is going to have its piece rip sawed off just to give it so it fits in nicely into that gap working on the outside still this took one full day to actually fit because the door frame was out so it had to be planed backwards and forwards till I got it right and this one here is half complete and I've finished planing and that one's going to go in just fitting nicely here against there put little brace blocks against there seal the back of this so the water won't go through and into the cavity this is the last part is the change of the hinges which is I'm looking forward to doing just popping these out one at a time and pulling out the others are purposely covered in paint so we didn't have to worry about trimming around finished project it took probably three times as long as I wanted to do one of the hardest things was in Australia is getting these handles that are fit a, a large thick a thick door um, to retrofit very difficult the um, rest of the timber works okay a bit fiddly put new hinge, those hinges on and they dropped the door a bit so how to adjust it 